to you live from the Catalpa kitchen. Super duper easy and they're really delicious. We're heading today is over to um, a zoo that was here years ago. Sunset and there's dolphins in the anchorage. They're only tiny. I don't actually know where they are now, but I thought I'd come over and film them on the surfboard, but they seem to disappear. Hey, baby. I um, wanted to show you guys this crab. <laughs> 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 He's very excited about the little crab. It's very cute. Oh, it actually looks like a little sand crab the way he's got Yeah, his... it is. The little beard. It is. That's a little blue swimmer, guys. Oh, it's the world's smallest crab, everybody. makes life so much easier. The mud's very smelly. If you don't clean it off, it goes into Taj's uh, room because the anchor well's right near his bedroom. So we try and clean it off as best as possible. So it doesn't stink. We just got over to uh, shore and we just realized we just saw someone else with a mask. It's about 3 30 in the afternoon and we just realized we forgot our masks so left them on the boat and you can't enter the shops without them. So before we go to the shops now we're gonna have to go see if we can buy a mask somewhere. Mm. So annoying. Anyway, it's, uh, this is the norm now. Oh, we, we just stopped at the shop. Couldn't find any uh, masks but they had bandanas so we ain't going bandit style. <laughs> but really, it felt like we were in an old western movie. Nah, just a couple of salty sailors ready to go shopping. So we've just come into the shop. These guys out there, they, um, they spray your hands and then they to the uh, temperature testing. Anyway, he got a little confused and sprayed my face with sanitizer. <laughs> so now my forehead's really clean. <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> should have filmed it. Anyway, funny. Poor guy felt really bad. <laughs> All the near food. journey lately with this. Oh, she's exploded today. This is Rosie. She's a, a starter for sourdough. I've been feeding her for about 10 days and I'm going to make some crackers right now. Starter. So what you do is you can make your starter. So, so a lot of people get them from people and or the mother they call it. I think it's similar to like kombucha and you can give people um, some of this and then they can continue to uh, grow it and use it and then they don't have to wait but this has taken me about 10 days um, to get to this point so every night you have to feed it and what you do is you take three tablespoons out of here and then you can discard the rest but I found this website anyway she makes stuff out of the discard so it's starter discard so it's all the stuff that you can throw away but you can use it um, and I'm gonna make some crackers because they're really delicious. 
So it's three quarters of a cup of your sourdough starter discard. So am I saying discard right? Discard. Anyway, discard is what it is. And then I'm supposed to melt the butter, but this has been out, so it's a little bit soft. So I'm just going to whack it in there and mix it up. Let's put it in. And I'm going to add some pepper. Freshly cracked pepper. It's not very freshly cracked, but put a bit of pepper. Oregano. So you can add whatever herbs, and I'm pretty freehand with all this. You can put whatever you want in there. That's it. Mix it up because I didn't melt the butter. You probably have to <laughs> mix a little bit. I think you can use olive oil. Just spread it out on to your baking paper. So I have done this successfully once. <laughs> Failed once as well because our boat was on, it was rocking. So when I put it in the oven, it kind of lent one side. So there was a really thick end but it should be well it's pretty still today or tonight so it should be fine so you just really thinly layer it all out there's a bit of chunk of butter there but that's okay it'll melt mix it all up in there so layer it out nice and thinly so you don't want too thick super duper easy and they're really delicious so you just pop them in the oven <laughs> So I'm just making another lot because they don't last long in, our, in this house or this boat. But I just thought I'd show you because I've added some flax seeds, some pepitas, some sunflower seeds in. Just a little handful of each. And they, see how they turn out? We like seedy crackers. Problem I was telling you about before. Our oven must constantly, or the whole boat must be on a lean because <laughs> I just checked them and oh no, <laughs> now they're burning. Yeah, it's done the same thing. This is what you call a sourdough cracker fail. <laughs> if you don't live on a boat and your oven is like, oh, it has a good gimbal, it, it'd probably be fine. But um, if you have a look, that all breaks up. But you can break all this up. It's going to be kind of hot. Oh, it's really hot. Because <laughs> I just came out the oven. <laughs> anyway, look. It's not such, I wouldn't call it a fail fail, but these ah, are really hot. And I'm going to keep doing it. But I'm going to bowl. Look, you just break them up. And instead of going to your cupboard, it's a lot easier. <laughs> but hey, these are delicious. They are delicious. Even like that, they're kind of thick, but it's all good. I'm going to do the rest of these and I'm going to cook up this lot. So guys, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm a little bit impatient and hungry, so I'm going to pull them out now. They might not be ready yet, but hopefully they're not slid down to one side like the last lot. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. And you can let it, like if you let it cool, it'll go hard. And then you just break them up. Oh, look at that. Probably use a knife if you like. These are the seedy ones. Look good. You don't have to watch my struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna break those all up and we're gonna eat them. Just some quick tips for making sourdough crackers. Don't get distracted. Don't have a big pot of water or a kettle of water on your oven that makes it lean one way <laughs> and they will all run to one side. Spread them out a little bit thinner. If you like a thicker cracker, you could probably do it like this thickness. But we don't like them even guys, just rustic, nice and rustic. And I'm gonna pop these on a plate. The burnt bits don't taste that great, but we ate them anyway. It's Catalpa crackers. When you're not near a shop, <laughs> you're out in the ocean, or you just wanna be healthy and you don't wanna eat the crackers from the packet. These are a good substitute. Just try a little bit. Oh yeah. They're good, they have like, 
sourdough taste. <laughs> yeah. I like them. And they're good. And these ones work. So happy days. We hope you guys have a good night. We're going to have some cheese and crackers and nice dinner. Cheers. So you say with food. She's back at it again, ladies and gentlemen. She's a little bit excited this morning. What's happened? So I've been growing this starter. My sourdough starter. It's been a process, but I've been pretty, I've stuck to it. I feed her every night. It's like 10 days, maybe. So I'm making my first sourdough loaf ever this morning because my sourdough was like active and it floated. <laughs> I mix it now. It's a bit of a process. Let it rest, fold it. I don't know following instructions but hopefully it turns out I have active starter so if anybody wants some I can share it with you you just have to come to Malaysia and get it so what I like to do when I make my sourdough <laughs> make it up as I go just lightly mix it all in you know guys it's been an hour and I let the uh, dough rest. And now what we're going to do is wet, wet your hand in there. And then grab it underneath. And then you fold over. And then you grab it. And then you fold. And then you grab it. And then you fold. That's right. Very uh, big process. So hopefully it's good. But these are easy. This, this pizza dough bread. Do you like my burnt bowl? It's really easy. You just mix it up the night before. And you use the starter, so you get the same as what I was using with the crackers. So that one's easy. The bread, I don't know yet. <laughs> so where we're heading today is over to um, a zoo that was here years ago. There's no animals here anymore and I think it's just ruins, but I'm gonna go have a little look. a lot from there to there. <laughs> Maybe it was an enclosure at one point. Maybe here could have been a Komodo dragon. You never know. We actually probably will never know. But what we do know is there's not much left. <laughs> it's a big old tree. It's very hot. I am sweating and I just had a big nail in my my shoe but I missed my foot so it 
was lucky. Very lucky. A bit of feeding. There you go. We've got to sneak up on them because they're a little they're bit, a bit shy. Quiet. They do love the water. So just nice and quietly. See if we can feed them. It's okay. It's okay. Look at that. That's a rare scene. <laughs> we might leave and see. He may be coming down to the river it's to make. It's very quiet. Well, this is the only animal we saw today at the zoo, so. <laughs> we may have been 30 years too late. <laughs> Cheers. I forgot to show you, I roll it out, you cook the bottom in the pan and then you can store these in the freezer like that and keep them, um, otherwise you put the toppings on and cook them in the oven. We're going to have chicken, chicken pizza for lunch today. We made the sauce, I forgot to say, show you. This is um, roasted veggies and a little bit of coconut milk. Blend it up. And then that's the sauce. Some chicken and cheese. This is Mum's bread. It's not the first loaf, but maybe the third or fourth. But holy moly, it was delicious. so much for watching that episode guys if this bread looks yummy mash that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe we will see you next time love you guys bye